All right, YouTubers, welcome back to uh, Straight Up BMW. We are uh, continuing or starting our uh, S63 builds. Um, we're going to be doing a complete rebuild on two engines, two S63 simultaneously. Uh, one's going to be going into that X5M. Uh, follow the build and the removal of uh, that X5M. I'll put a link up above. Um, also, I'll put a link up above to the X6M in which one of these engines came out. Uh, you want to take a look at that. So where we are currently, we've got two cranks. One came out of that X6M that I, that I just mentioned above. Um, that crank spun a rod. And then this other crank, we went ahead and purchased that and had this rod on the size. Okay, so two S63 uh, uh, crankshafts. This one here, undersized 0.25 millimeter, and then it was balanced. You can see here, uh, they've added uh, this thing, what is it called? Malroy. Uh, it's what they put on the crank for added weight. So you can see right here, they've, they've added some weight because of the balancing. Uh, so that was done. So this crank is what's called internally balanced. Uh, I'll put the spec up above, but I can't recall off the top of my head what's what's the um, the grams per end spec is. But this crank has been balanced, has been cut on the size. Rods and mains have been measured, so we've documented that. Now we've got the other crank here, which we're also going to be measuring uh, to document our size. This one also has been internally balanced. Uh, you can see here. They've taken a little bit of material off here of one of the areas where they had to adjust mass uh, for the balance. Each of these cranks, um, we went ahead and sent all the piston, uh, the pistons with the wrist pins, with the clips, with the piston rings, with the new ACL bearings and the rods. So then each one is weighed as an assembly and then they mark up that assembly when they go ahead and put in the dummy weights for replicating the weight on the crank so they can balance it. Each one of that was done for both cranks. So we've got a spec, uh, these are balanced. So where we are right now is we're going ahead and measure this and I'll show you guys how I measure the crank. We'll measure the journals, we'll measure the mains, the rods and mains. We are going to check for taper and out of round, okay? So, uh, S63 V8 crank, uh, let's go ahead and do that. Crank. Uh, what I'm going to go ahead and do, I'm going to show you guys how I measure one journal. And it's going to be the same for the rest. What I'm you can see here, we've got our zero position. I always align my zero position with my dowel. That'll be our zero position throughout this here. So here, uh, I'm gonna measure one journal and it's gonna be the same for the remaining journals. But I wanted to show you how this is done, how I measure this. So this crank has been grounded already to 0.25 millimeter undersize. Okay. So this is my zero, my top is my zero position and then 90 is 90 degrees from there. I'm going to measure the front at zero, the back at zero, and I'm going to see if there's any taper. And then I'm going to measure 90 at the front position. And then I'm going to measure 90 at the back position to see if there's any taper. In addition to that, I'll be able to tell if there's any out of round. Um, now, if I get within one to two tenths, three tenths, out of uh, taper or out of round i'm not too concerned about that because my clearance i've have enough allowable clearance between the bearings and the journal to accommodate that without sacrificing oil starvation so uh, even though this is a brand new grounded journal it's expected to have some taper within an acceptable limit uh just just goes from experience uh uh, don't expect it to be zero. If you get it to zero, that's great. But 
it's all going to come down to the feel of your hands on the micrometer because temperature variations you know is it's, it's just a fine feel of the resistance or the drag that you feel so you may have to do it a couple of times to check and see how it feels to kind of tune into that feel okay Okay, this one I'm comfortable with the resistance that I have here. Okay, so I'm going to document that. I'm going to go 90, I'm not going to change it. It's a little bit looser than what I like. So now I'm going to also check my back position. It's a little bit looser than what I would like. I'm going to check my 90 degree position in my back. A little bit looser so I'm gonna tighten my mic about one tenth I'm gonna go my 90 okay that feels nice it's got the same resistance than when I did my zero position okay I'm gonna go back here on my zero check see if how that feels that feels good. And I'm gonna go my 90. It's a little bit loose. So I'm gonna tighten up one more tenth. Okay, that feels good. So again, what I've gone ahead and done, I've checked the taper front to back and the out of roundness from 0 to 90. Okay, that's going to be the same process for the remaining journals and the same thing on the main journals because I'll check the front and I'll check the back. Okay? Alright guys, so let's continue the build. Uh, follow me, let me know what you think. Okay?